Good day, grade 10. Okay, I'm just going to continue posting the employer's contribution. Now, this is totally separate from the deductions of your employees' salaries. This is just, just from the business's pocket. Okay, so the business makes a contribution towards the medical fund, towards the, the UIF. That's one of the benefits for the employees. But that's a separate, separate expense. So my expense towards the medical aid is my medical aid contribution. So the business makes a contribution and that's a normal expense account. It's debited because it uh, decreases my owner's equity 2016 January the 31st and what am I going to credit at this stage I owe the medical the business owes the medical aid 480 rand and therefore the medical aid is my creditor and I'm just going to write medical aid this comes from the salaries journal and I owe them 480 rand right as you go you also enter your um, folio numbers. Okay, so what am I going to credit? I'm going to credit my medical aid because what is my credit, my medical aid at this stage? My medical aid is a creditor and therefore it's credited. I haven't paid him, I will, but at this stage I, I owe him the money. Okay, what is debited? The amount that was, the account that was debited is medical aid contributions. So I'm going to credit this with medical aid contributions. SJ 480 rand okay and we're going to do exactly the same with the uif we pay from the business the business pays from its own pocket 75 rand towards the uif that has got nothing to do with that it's separate 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 so it is a normal expense so i'm going to debit uif 2016 january the 31st and what am i going to credit the fund uif and that one you may abbreviate only one and that's 75 rand i'm going to credit my uif where is my uif unemployment insurance fund because it, at this stage it's a creditor what am i going to write here yes you write uif contribution and sj 75 rand so now you can see the total that i owe him on behalf of my employees on my behalf the business behalf that's what i owe the uif i also owe the pension fund for that but that, that that's for later right <clears throat> now if you look at your um medical aid yes 960 rand so now i know what i owe to each of these i owe my pension fund that amount i owe the uif 150 rand i owe the medical aid 960 sars 3525 and the creditors for salaries my employees that's my employees i owe them ten thousand and twenty rand gentlemen and now you can pay that so i want you to go check in your textbook go to your uh, the example of your cash payments journal and see how it's paid and i want you to try that on your own so do the exercise that i gave you for homework we might change the program slightly next week because i want to go slow with, the, with this please contact me if you have any um, questions for this thank you great team